Hello, my dear students and friends. In this video, I want to provide information regarding uh, what is accounting, what is information, what is system, what is information system, and what is accounting information system, and what is the usage of accounting information system. As you see that, when we say accounting information system, Accounting information system is basically the combination of three different words. For example, the first one is accounting, so the next one is of course information, and the next one is system. So before to define accounting information system, it is suitable first to define what is accounting, and then what is information, what is system, and then you will combine to get definition of accounting information system. There is a simple definition for accounting. I have taken it from the accounting books, basically. So this is the same definition which I teach in the principles of accounting for defining the account, right? There's a simple definition. Let me read the definition. Accounting is the process of identifying, recording, classifying, summarizing, analyzing, and interpreting of financial character transactions and communicating the report or accounting uh, result in the form of financial statements to the users for decision makings or judgments. So point number one, you may know it from the previous semester that accounting is not only one process. Step number one, we have to identify. If you didn't remember it, so let me explain somehow about, about this one. Uh, but the, the complete definition of accounting with the proper steps you can find out in my YouTube channel, this is the case. Uh, and in this video, basically, by the name of definition of accounting, you will get a proper or complete definition of accounting. But I will explain somehow in this one, but I will not go in deep. Why? Because it's a kind of repeating topic for you. So step number one in accounting is identifying. So first of all, we have to identify whether the transactions that we want to record in the book of accounting account as economic transactions or non-economic transactions. So the transaction should be economic transactions or the transaction should be financial character transactions. Financial character transactions means the transaction should have some monetary value, suppose 1,000, 2,000 and so on. Otherwise, if it does not have a monetary value, we cannot record in the book of account. After that, of course, you should record in the books. You know it how to record. We record it through the journal entry. You know it already, and after that, of course, we go for the step of classifying, then we classify it in the ledger, and after that, we go for the step of summarizing, we summarize in trail balance, of course, and after that, for the purpose of analyzing and interpretations, of course, after preparing the financial statements, we have to give some analyzing and interpretations, then we have to communicate the report of this one, or the financial or accounting report in the form of financial statements to whom? To the users of accounting information. And of course, they may need it for decision makings or what? Judgment. So steps are started from here. So not only one step, several steps. So one number one, identify it, then start with recording, then properly classify it, then summarize it, analyze and interpret, and provide a report, communicate it to the users for what purpose? For decision making. So this was a simple definition for accounting. How we do it, of course, we do it through the cycle. And this is the accounting cycle. You already know about it. We start from the journal, then we go for the ledger, then we go for the trial balance, then adjustments, adjusted trial balance, uh, financial statements, reporting, and of course, closing entry. I'm not going to explain any one of these. Why? Because it was repeated. But that's just it is the, the sequence that we need to provide uh, basically in this subject also we do for all this process but not of course in manual system we go for in, 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 in a computerized system right so and instead of manual system we go for a computerized one we know that for example manually how to make journal how to make leisure how to make chart balance how to make financial statement and so on but in this subject we just gave a brief description in the first part as i said and in the introduction part in the second part, of course, directly we go for a software, accounting software, and that's also a very common software by the name of QuickBook. And that one, of course, inshallah, we will explain this one. Uh, we will explain uh, the steps of accounting, that how all these steps can be applied there. 
and you will enjoy with that one that will be much simple as compared to the manual accounting system why uh, because in manual accounting system of course you have to record then have to make ledgers and make your balance manually then not just entries everything should be done manually but when we go for the software you need to just enter the data in the system the rest of the things will be done by the by the software so from the accounting knowledge of course you should know only for example debit and credit when to account when to debit account or when to credit the rest of the things will be provided by the software sort of data sort of information sort of reports everything will be provided so that was a part of accounting uh, part the second part is of course information is also very important so what is information i have given this part a simple definition there might be although there might be several definitions for for information but the simplest definition is this one information is useful data or knowledge organized such that correct decisions can be made based on it so if data is organized in a proper way and you can make a proper decision based on that so this can be called as what as the information so anytime if a data is useful for you to make a kinds of decision that can be called as what the information or simple you can say for example the information can be called as a process form of a data so if i summarize once again uh, we can say simply or the simplest definition of information what is information uh, the process form of a data can be called as what is the information uh, when we say for example the process form of a data it doesn't mean that we should put a data in a system we should put a data for example in a software for example we can see in a computer in a machine and so on and finally get the information no it's, it's very simple information for example how to process the data for example or how, how we can uh, call it or when we can call it the information when when data are collected from some source and some for example steps are implemented that that for example data are organized properly data are classified properly and data or for example uh, data or we can say put in a formula or in a method and after that you got something else for example that can be called as what as the information and remember one thing that sometime the same sort of things can be information for one people and it can be a kind of data for the others. For example, uh, for example, the information which is provided, for example, uh, in the finance department or accounting department, it's a kind of information for uh, finance or accounting people. But the same sort of things might be a kind of data, for example, for HR department or when a data is provided or when the information is provided by HR department it might be a kind of for example data for IT department so we cannot say that when we call it information it should be information for everyone it doesn't means like that so information or data can be in can be called data can be called the information only when it became useful for you so anytime if something is useful for you so uh, or it increase your knowledge on that time it can be called of what as the information one more thing regarding information information is a source a resource for the organization so now information is one of the important resource in the business previously the businessmen thought that there are only four type of resource in the business and they called it as four m of management and these are for example men the machines and the money and materials these are basically like four factors of production and nowadays of course the people think that the information is also one of the resources in the organization and also we can say or they say that this is the precious uh, the very important uh, type of resource in the organization and they can say that without this sort of uh, resource we cannot achieve the other source of resource in the business for example if you don't have information how can you hire for example an expert employees if no information of course you cannot find out machines if there's no information of course you cannot raise money from the market and all and of course if there is no information you cannot have materials as well and now information is the first things or one of the important resource in the organization
So this was somehow about information. You can find some more information from your books, videos, and so on. The next component of accounting information system is the system itself. If you see in your daily activities, you have heard of a system, for example, economic system, for example, you have heard banking system. Then, of course, you have heard of, for example, transportation system. Then you have heard of, for example, economic system and so on. Communication system, economic system, banking system, educational system, health system and so on. Now the question arises, for example, these are the questions which can be arise from this part. What is the system itself? If we say economic system, so what is system? If we say, for example, Cardon has a wonderful system, so what is the system? Uh, point number one and point number two, what do all the systems have in common? So point number one or the first question is what do you mean by the system? So what are the second question is what are the common things which are available in the system? The things which is the first thing that what do you mean by the system? The question and this is the answer for that question basically. What do you mean by the system? Simply we have a given we have given a simple definition for the system. So we define in this way a set of parts. A set of parts or components which are interrelated and coordinated in a such a way to accomplish a specific set of goals. So we can say in this way simply, when a set of parts are connected together in a proper way and they achieve a particular goals or objective, that can be called as what? As a system. So when we talk about the system, system doesn't mean once again like there should be a a very complicated system. No, even when two or three persons are, we can say, connected to each other in a proper way and they have a proper objective to achieve that one, they work with each other to finally achieve that objective that can be called us as a system. For example, let's just take example of Cardan, for example. Each department are connected to each other. Head of, head of, we have head of, for example, uh, faculty, which we can call a dean. We have, for example, uh, head of departments, then program officers, then lecturers, and so on. We are all connected to provide an educational facility for the student. Not only we, for example, the other departments are also helping us, like HR, like IT, like finance, like food, and so on, right? So all of them are working together to finally provide a service for you guys. So this can be called as what as a system. Let us take a broader example of a system. For example, in the country, we have a banking system, right? So, uh, if we come a little bit, for example, uh, lower than a uh, banking system of a country, <clears throat> let us take example of a particular bank, for example, example of a Z bank. A Z bank has several branches. They have several managers. They have several officers. They have several employees, machines, tools, equipments, and so on. And finally, their purpose is to provide a service for the customers and make their own money. So this also can be called as what? As a system. So this is the meaning of a system. Once again, let me tell you, when a set of parts, it means several components. At least it should be more than one part. One part cannot be called as a system. A set of parts are interrelated toge together, or they're connected to, to each other, and they work with each other to specifically achieve a particular goal that can be called as what? As a system. For example, computer system, hardware and software work together to find out what, uh, to, to do some particular activity. That can be called a system. The second, regarding the second point, regarding the second question, that what do all the systems have in common? This is the answer for this one. What do all systems have in common? These are the three parts that are available in each system. Point number one, components, component parts. And point number two, process states. And point number three, goals. Component means, as I said before, a system cannot be with a single part. So parts should be connected to each other. A single lecturer cannot make a university. A single employee cannot make a bank. Right? So there should be several parts working together to make a system. Point number two, the process stage. It means they should be connected to each other in a proper way. If they are not connected to each other in a proper way, of course, they cannot do something. And point number three is regarding the goal. Each system should have a proper goal. 
If there is no goal for a session, it means the session is useless. Now let me take example of the banks. For example, in a ZZ bank, for example, there are several branches. So all these branches can be called as a process, as a, as a part. They are working together and they are responsible to the head, to a ZZ bank head office, for example. So this can be called the proper process. It means they are connected to each other. One branch is connected to other branch, other branch is connected to other, and finally they are connected to the, to the ZZ bank, for example, head office. And of course, their goal is to provide service for the customers and make their money. If we go a little bit broader than this one, let's just take example of our central bank. Suppose central bank of Afghanistan, right? Central bank of Afghanistan also has its own goals or objectives. For example, one of the goals can be to control the exchange rate in the market. One of the goals can be to implement monetary policy, to control inflation in the market, right? To increase, for example, we can say, the social welfare in, in, in the society through different programs and so on. So this might be the goal. The goal of this central bank cannot be achieved unless different parts or different components are working together. The parts or the components of the central banks or this, this commercial bank or the banks which we have in the market, for example, as I said before, like SG Bank, for example, EIB Bank and so on. So when all of them work together, they have a common, for example, process. So they are connected to each other. Finally, the goal of the central bank can be achieved only. If we consider, if we go a little bit broader than this one, for example, the central bank of each country, for example, can be a part, but the World Bank or the IMF, for example, can be as a head. And each banks are connected to each other. They are working together to achieve the goal of the overall world, basically. So this can be called as well as a system. So remember, in the system, we have parts, we have components, we have proper connect, connection, connectivity, and finally, there is a goal. So if any one of this is missing, so it means there is no proper system. Suppose, let us say, we have an organization, we have employees, we have estates, but we have, we have goals as well. So we have employees but employees are not connected to each other they are not working in a proper way finally goal will not be achieved right even you set the goal and of course that cannot be achieved so simple we can say all these estates are to be available and after that of course you can have a proper system the next is information system now let us combine information with the system you get the information system what is information system? The information system is the set of formal procedures by which data are collected, processed into information and distributed to the users. This is what. So we, information system, we collect the data, process it properly into information and we make it available to the users. So anytime if you collect the data, process it properly and communicate it to the people can be called as what? As an information system. Once again, let me tell you that when we talk about the information system, you should not mind that information system means there's a proper, there's a computerized system is there, there's a much complicated information, there's a much complicated software is available there, so blah, 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 and so on. No, it doesn't mean like that. When we talk about the information system, information system even can be, for example, can be made manually. We collect information from Mahmoud, Mahmoud, and so on, I, we think properly on this one and then we take a pro proper decision. This also can be called as well as information. Let me take a simple example. For example, you want to take a loan from different banks. You want to take a loan, for example. You ask information from your friends regarding different banks. You ask from a ZD bank, you ask, for example, from, we can say, Bakhtar Bank, you ask, for example, from Afghanistan, international banks, and so on. These are in the stage of data. Then you share it with your friends, you think about that one, you think about the facilities, you think about different advantages and so on. And finally, you make it available, for example, to your organization of your friends and so on, that if you take loan, for example, from a Z-Bank, it is much better for us. So this can be called also as well as an information system. So information system doesn't mean that a complicated procedures. Information system just simply means collect the data, process it properly, uh, process simply means, of course, think on this one. Apply some methods, for example, some procedures 
and after that uh, have a, a knowledgeful information then share it with the users this can be called as well accounting this can be called the information system now if you go a little bit further than information system you can have accounting information system information system means collect the data process it and finally uh, make information make it available to users if this collection if this collection if this processing and generation of information is applied in the field of accounting this can be called as what simply accounting information system accounting information system is not a complicated one accounting information simply means the information system will generate information about what accounting so there is a system which collect, process, and generate information about accounting. So this can be called accounting information system. If there is an information system which collect information about management, we can call it management information system. If there is, for example, information about the bank, so we can call it banking information system. So if there is an information system about economics, we can call it economic information system, right? So very simple. So don't take it much complicated one so accounting information system is very simple it is just the information system which collect and process information about what about, about, about accounting so let me define in this way the information system that collect process and report the information about the business transaction is called what accounting information system the information system that collect process and of course generate the accounting information about the business transactions can be called the accounting information system. Accounting information system can be generated to any one of these. If we generate accounting information through manual, so this can be called this through humans, this can be called as what? As a manual system. It means humans only generate, as we have done, for example, in the accounting, like make journal, ledger, and so on, finally provide accounting, finally provide information. Uh, accounting report if we do it through the computers this system can be called as what computerized if we do it through humans and computer this can be called as a computerized system of course this one is usually in the stage of theory we cannot have only computer either we have human or otherwise we have human and computer now a day of course we follow this one there is a computer there is a software and also there is a man behind it to enter the data in the system and generate information see the purpose of this course outline which we do or the purpose of the subject which is called accounting information system is basically these things in the business we will generate this kinds of information for example we will generate the company or financial information we will provide information about our customers and receivables we will provide information about the sales, about the jobs, times, mileage. We will provide information about vendors, about account tables. We provide information about the purchase, about inventories, how many inventory we have, employees and payrolls. We provide information about the banks, about accounts, and accountants and taxes, budgets and so on. These are all the types of report or the types of information that we have to provide by accounting information system. And also let me tell you these things that when we say accounting information system, once again, it doesn't mean that there should be a proper, for example, computerized system to provide this information. No, even we can provide these things manually. For example, regarding purchase, simply we can provide that, for example, how much purchase is made during the year. How much is paid, how much is not paid yet, how much we have to pay, how much inventory we have. How many? How much we sold for the customers? How much we have to? Re, how much we receive? How much we have to receive? All these are the sort of information that we have to provide through accounting information. In order to have a better understanding of all these reports, let me show you the reports which are provided or which are generated by software. Let me go to the QuickBook. Uh, so basically, I have taken these reports uh, from the QuickBook. Let me go in the QuickBook. When we go in the QuickBook later on, so there's a section by the name of Report section. Go in the Report section, you can find out all this sort of information. For example, regarding uh, financial company and financial. 
we will provide this kinds of report profit and loss standard profit and loss for example details and of course profit and loss year to date comparison or profit and loss previous year comparison or for example profit and loss by jobs we can find all find out all those things profit and loss for example by classes profit and loss unclassified what do you mean by this one all of this will be explained properly during uh, the semester while discussing the subject by the name of quickbook income for example by customers income by customers details as well as the as well as the summary expenses by vendors for example expenses by this one then we'll talk about the balance sheet for example balance sheet standard balance sheet details balance sheet for example this one balance sheet comparison balance sheet for example by class and so on all of this information will be provided report we should provide report for example regarding our customers aging of customers for example by detailed summary customer by balance how much balance we have to receive from each customers details as well open invites how many invites are open yet it means we have uh, we can say sold goods for the customers but the amounts are not received yet collection report how much we have received average by average day to pay summary within how many days the customer pay for us right and these are the sort of information that we have not only for this one for the sales as well so how many sales we made all sort of information we have information regarding our vendors or account payable details the summary all sort of information that we need we have to provide to accounting information system for example regarding purchase we have information purchase by vendor how much purchase from ahmad how much is purchase from mahmoud how much purchase from ali not only this one but details as well as the summary purchase by items how many items are purchased during their details and summary open purchase order how many purchase orders are issued but goods are not received yet open purchase order details open purchase order by jobs such kinds of information which you need we can provide to accounting information system and these are the maths that we have to provide regarding inventory how much inventory we have how much is the value of each inventory how many item of each item we have we have banking information how much we have deposited how much checks missing checks for example reconciliation and so on all those kinds of information regarding tax for example adjusted trail balance can be there for example trail balance is there general journal entry is there all sort of information that you can we can see it here basically we provide it through accounting information system not only this one about the budgeting for example and at the end we compare the our budget with the actual we find the differences and of course we take a sort of decision based on that one why our actual performance is not with this one so don't take the accounting information uh, accounting information system very easy uh, it means uh, don't take it very we can say openly that it's not a big subject so it's not a complicated one so we we, we will for example we will study it just by exam night it is not possible and of course I take it as an important subject take that for example as a as an important subject that it, it generates as as the nature of subject it says that for example it is the information so when it talks about the information so it is very important so all sort of uh, we can say information which you need for your decision makings and so on can be generated through this one so uh, i'm going to stop basically here but in the next slide so we will discuss inshallah about the users of accounting uh, information the information which are to be provided by accounting information system who are the users of this one so uh, for this purpose i have provided a videos already you can check in my youtube channel i will not explain this one so once again my youtube channel is this one so please go there and watch the videos come prepared for the next class thank you so